everybody and today I'm back with Mix Daily Training. Let's have fun and let's go. Hello everybody and today I'm back with Mix Okay. Controlling Daily Rapid Arena. That's an interesting, I mean Queen B2 is very interesting I think. Queen E2. Looks needed. I mean, like queen b2, for example, like h3, you take, see, you take rook d4, rook d4, that's one. If here, you go there, here, queen h4, to have two threat, I mean, yeah, queen b2, of course. I'm not so sure if after a h3, you have to take with the bishop, but yeah, h3 is played. Maybe you can take rook and then knight, no, take with rook and knight, knight f2, that would be great, I think. And then basically, if queen b1, you take, take, and then you take the knight, and if rook b1, you take, he takes, and you have bishop, uh, bishop d4. Yeah, wow. <laughs> Is he listening to me? <laughs> imagine. <laughs> imagine I blunder, and it was actually a bad move. <laughs> it's really funny. Yeah, now knight f2 for sure wins it. I think. Yeah, for sure. It have to ruby one in just ninety four. Just have to see that, and <laughs> it's that it's winning. Yeah, he's definitely watching the stream. Oh, that's a nice tactic by Lion. Yeah, there is nothing. I mean, there is knight queen e5. Hold on, is there anything? I mean, I can definitely just take and be, a, be fine. I mean, there is queen f2, I win a pawn. It'll be two pawns up. He has really exposed pawn structure. I mean, queen e5 is the only move to try for white, I think. I mean, I may as well just go like ship d4. And if queen d4, knight d1. Yeah, but I guess you can, after like queen e5, you can just play like b6 or something. I'm not sure if it works, but definitely looks doable. And the knight moves, you just take knight d1, rook moves, you take on d4. There? No, I didn't play this guy. I didn't play c5 first. So you usually put your minor pieces, but okay. Was a good game by Line Barbarian, especially with this sack of exchange sack. I mean, Queen 5 you gotta try it. Maybe there is nothing, but it's at least better than like Ruby 1, because Syria totally lost. one. I mean queen e5, let's calculate together. Queen e5. Bishop d4, rook d4, no, that's not great. I would just play b6. <laughs> and then queen b8, king h7 is a great knight d1 threat. And like, we cannot move anywhere else. I mean, it can, but then just bishop d4, knight h3, knight h3 bishop d4, bishop d4, knight h3, and totally won four. Okay, knight e6, it's just, <laughs> just, I don't know, it's cream of soul, just knight e4. With check, rook d8 doesn't work. Yeah, knight d4 with check, <laughs> it just wins it. And then f takes e. Just line, barbarian winning. No, not yet. He's not leading the tournament. If he will, no, he won't. Line, maybe he's just playing his first game. Yeah, okay, he won. That was a really great game. 1 0 0 from line. Stunning. Take, take. Yeah, okay, rook d8 was a little bit more precise. Here, here, and you take here, knight g4. Oh, yeah, just just, just don't give him any chance at all. I mean, <coughs> survive is much more human. And yeah, who will find queen e3? Because it's not much difference. Great game, I'd say. Yeah, knight c5. 
Oh, 95 was actually not a bad try. No, it's totally lost. How is it just plus 5? It's like totally lost. <sighs> yeah, but I mean, you gotta try this. It's totally lost after 93, but it's harder to win in the game because in the game it was too simple, <laughs> I think, for black to win. Let's see, Kaisa X against Qualad Bot Engine. Kaisa, I think, in. And Qualad. Qualad. I mean, it's Qatar, so Qualad. Qualad. I'm not sure if it's the right name, but okay. It seems better for Qualad. At least in time. In position and on previous results, it seems like Kaisa is dominating. And all the draws they made was usually an opening. No. Before it wasn't open in at all. But now, now they became really fast drawers, let's say. <laughs> and Kaisa is real long time. But Kaisa didn't lose a single game yet. At least from the last 20 games. 20. It's crazy. Okay, Kaisa has to play real fast now, and she does. Okay, enough one. That's a really interesting move. Not sure about Kaisa's position, to be fair. Doesn't look that well because of the exposed skin. Doesn't look that good because of an exposed skin. 95. Questionable move. I would probably take DN and Queen G3, but I'm not Qualat, and I'm not... <laughs> That engine, uh, but yeah, Kaisa is just fighting a pawn down. D4. Yeah, no tactics. Aquanaut is dom dominating on time, absolutely, completely. Well, there are gonna be some tactic now, at least for Kaisa, it seems like. Maybe not, but it's. Already feels a little bit more scary for Kuala to play. If he moves his knight like to b6, it would be bishop b7. Is he going to repeat? Probably will. If Kaisa will, will be fine with draw. No, Kuala doesn't want to draw now. It's a really interesting game. So Kuala cannot move his h5 knight. And I guess f6 knight is also not really movable. It's really an, an, an unpleasure to play for both. And for Kaisa, it's even much easier now because she can just make whatever moves she wants. Okay, can you one? Is it going to be a repetition? May as well. Ooh, this is a blunder. No, it's not. <laughs> Bishop G2, yeah, you gotta, you gotta protect that mate threat. Bishop H6, just go for a draw, Kaisa. You're a long time. Maybe you're fine in time, but Kaisa ignores any draw offers. It's, that's some respect to her. Uh, can have two, she didn't wonder anything. Wow. <laughs> this insane playing time trouble is absolutely stunning. Like, come on. <laughs> Who keeps such such tension in time trouble? In such, I don't know, self-confidence. <laughs> Though, a little scary. They're getting queens off, right? No. Now Kalad doesn't want to trade queens off. <laughs> and they still have queens on the board. Oh, it seems really crazy. Rook G2. Kaisa just doesn't think about the move. So now Kaisa got the pawn. And maybe she's the one who's playing. Wow, that's, that should be winning, yeah. Crazy game. Kaisa takes a dub. When Kalad got to time trouble, he lost. Insane, actually. A really crazy game. It was draw for a real long time, and then Pam Kaisa win. Hey, how did he make a move with 0 0.0 left? Okay, but. <laughs> that was fun then. Kalad made 7, yeah. <laughs> it already knew where it was lost. Uh -huh. So it was all slightly better for Kaisa. Wow, Kaisa played zero zero zero, crazy. <laughs> so Kaisa wasn't worse at all. 
far it seems like nobody wants to play with me today. A crazy game. I thought Kaisa was close to losing, but then after an idea of six, it was actually her who was playing on win. Even though here it felt scary, she played absolutely magnificently, and then she she got the dub. <laughs> wow, insane! I can lie. Ten minute blitz. It's rapid. Uh, okay, guess. Doom, 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 doom. Oh, get an opponent and play against Vasek 003. So Martirasan lost. Okay, that was pretty close at the end. So sure, maybe. Ah, oh, play G three. Hey, that's interesting. E six, C six. Bishop G two. Okay, yeah, knight D one. Little unpleasant, but. My idea is to get my knights out and G4 and attack, if that will be possible. Okay, that's a really interesting move. You usually want to put your knight here and not take away this square from your pieces with your pawn. Because knights are a weakness, his skin is a weakness. Now he has to develop his knight from H6, so I'm not so sure if it's good for him or not. Uh, knight f3 for sure. So he basically wasted tons of tempos like bishop e7, bishop g6, and f6 is a real weakness now. Alright, I will take. Okay, I will take f takes e. Maybe I have to maintain the tension with f5, g4, but okay, I'm not so sure about it. I already took, so I cannot take back. Knight e5, release the tension. But my idea is like bishop f4, then take and, and, e, and e5. There you go, yeah. Okay, that's a nice idea from him to put queen as a block and piece, and it will be pretty hard to remove it. Mm hmm. Boom, my knight is in the <laughs> well placed here. So I'm considering some B3 here, here. Maybe I can play Queen H5 to create weaknesses now. And then G6 just go back, and H7, Bishop H6 stuff, so he cannot castle short. But then he can castle on. Maybe this will be unpleasant, I'm not sure. Yeah, G6, well, not Queen, nah, maybe Queen F3 actually. And then bishop e5, if he doesn't have knight, queen e5, he can take us queen f6. Uh, queen f3. I mean, if ef, then gf, and then e5 idea. Yeah. Um, I'm not so sure, let's see. I think I could have got used of uh, his inaccuracy with f6 a little bit more, more than I did now, but okay. Yeah, now I want to. I, I don't want him to have peace at the queen side as well with his king. Okay. And. Uh, I'm going for b4. unpleasant position to be fair because of my knight and he plays c4 closing it even more Boom. can it be two and it's knight c4 idea i'm not so sure it's unpleasant now after c4 which is a good move from him I 
C3. Well, I was planning to go here, 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 D3. B5, F takes E. And Rook D1 should be alright. And if he takes, we have 4 G, F5 ideas. I'm not sure about C3 immediately. Because now it feels like I got rid of my really bad knight on d1, and now my pieces may get some active play. So yeah, I don't know. d3 is what he plays. Uh -huh. Let's see. Well, if I take B5, F, E, I have rook D1, rook D3, and D2, I take here. And if D, C, I just take his queen. But he has queen B6, I have C5 there. C5, D takes C, I just take, should be alright. And if here, here, C, D. Okay, let's take. I'm not so sure. It's not my bishop is bad. Because basically, if queen E5, C, D, 97, C, D, and it's 6. Okay, it takes with the pawn. Alright, oh, yeah. No, yeah, wait, I have rook D1 here. Hold on. I'm missing something. I didn't think so. In crook eighty one is safe to play. C queen b six, c five d c c b and take 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 I'm fine. If d two have queen c three, it's fine as well. Yeah, about that. I think in h one is the right move. Um like in h one queen here d three looks great, but he has d two. That's what I totally missed. <laughs> I don't know why. I didn't even think about it. Yeah, D2 is gonna be a little unpleasant, maybe not even a little. <laughs> I totally missed this. Um, so I guess my idea is Queen E2 and then transform. Let's see. Queen E2 knight here. Queen E2 knight E7. Yeah, I think I gotta go Queen E2, Rook F3, Rook D3, Rook C3, <laughs> like that. So otherwise, it's real, not, really not nice for me to play this position. See, maybe it has some surprise, which can be very well. Be knight h6, rook wait here. It's alright, but is yes. okay, rook of three. Well, maybe it's not so okay, but, <laughs> but okay. Can okay, I g4? So, if bishop is 3 I mean he's forced to play h5, I think, and then if rook d3, queen c4, I take, and if he has like queen e4, I just take knight f2, doesn't work, queen d3, I should be winning, it's queen f2, I take, so he has to go b6, and I have c3. So, yeah, I think I have to pin. Maybe as this. No, okay, if this rook is three, let's double check. It should be good. Maybe if queen c4, just for security reasons, I'll play bishop g4. <laughs> just to be sure. Okay, goes here. 
uh, rook f rook c3 rook g3 okay, let's play rook c3 i think still a little unpleasant because of g2 pawn is very far advanced pawn uh, but should be holdable we'll see I mean, it should be maybe even winning if, if he makes more mistakes. But I wasn't sure about rook c. Maybe I need to play c5. Well, here, here I'm pretty sure I can take b g4 for security reasons. So and then rook b rook d2. And then like rook f here, rook e3. Yeah, I mean, rook d2, take, take knight f2 is unpleasant, though I have king g2. But I think taking now is fine. And he doesn't have anything except g. I mean, he does, but it doesn't work. Let's see, rook d3 now is another option. If he takes rook d3, queen d3, queen f2, I lost, I think. But if I play c takes d, he has rook f8. I have rook d2, then he has rook f3. And I'm not so sure. Mm, let's see, let's be sure. Rook d2, rook d2, rook f8. So d is rook f1 mate. It's not nice, but I have like king g2. Should be alright, I think. Let's see. <laughs> and I'm two pawns up, but he still has really active pieces, so that's why it may be a little bit unpleasant to play. Another thing which is nice, maybe rook d2, queen d2, I can play c5 and trade queens on d6. Uh, he goes here, rook, rook f8. So right now he doesn't have any threats. If I'm not mistaken, so maybe I can go like here and rook d6, c5 stuff. Rook d3, take, take is good. Rook h2. Hold on, rook h2, there is no mate for second take. Okay, there is king or this queen. This queen is maybe even safe for rook f1, king g2. There is no mate on f2 because of my d2 rook. Still, he has the pressure. Because of my kinda exposed king. Queen f6 is maybe the move he will choose. I placed rook h7. Okay, that's interesting. Let's see, rook d6, queen f3, queen f3, gf, king g1 is fine, or rook f2 even, if rook f3 I just take on g6, rook d6, queen f1 I take, take is fine, and queen f3 is fine as well, I think. And rook h2 doesn't work, <laughs> probably, yeah. Doesn't I think? Unless I'm missing something. So probably he'll play queen e7, but then I can even already take on g4. If he plays like queen g7, I have rook d8. And trading one pair of rooks, I think I should be more fine. And if queen e7, queen g4 looks very safe, to be honest. Just taking another pawn, and I have more space, I can play h4 and stuff. I'm not sure, but we'll see. Queen g5, though, is a little bit unpleasant on the other hand. Still maintaining this tension. So we'll see what he will choose. Okay, takes, he trades queens. Uh huh. And that was my only move. It's my only move as well. If rook up 8, I will just take g6. Okay, goes here. So you get my e4 pawn. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. I think I will take. This B five B six. Let's go B five B six and then mate back ranks. Ideas. 
I still applying pressure to my kin a little. I mean, it's not that big as it was, but I'm still a little pressure left. And I need to apply pressure to his skin now. Maybe it was a little too late, but I gotta try it now at least. And that's just forced mate, right? B6, yeah. B6, take, take. You cannot take with skin and rook eight mate. So takes and rook eight mate. Or rook d8, but rook eight is safer. Let's see, Vasek 003. That was a crazy game, actually. <laughs> um, Yeah, what can I say? In that no PGN, yes, I can. Wow, that was really crazy. <laughs> I, I I misplayed the opening. He got this really insane stuff. Hold on, there is this game, right? Yeah, I played terribly the opening. Really misplayed that. Um, I mean, let's disconnect. So C6, yeah, I mean, it's already. I had to go D45, just close it. Makes sense. I played this. This is, I mean, that has to have has to be played at least once. No games, huh? Really? Nobody played this. It's illogical. I mean, C six is illogical. Also. So one person played C three and then G three, and then D five and then E five happened. No, okay, it happened D three. So nobody actually played this. Um, uh, d4, yeah, okay, I didn't play that that nicely, but f6 was a really weird move to me. Just like h5, but yeah, I think f6 deserves an inaccuracy. I had to go for like knight f6, and I would be totally equal. This, 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 so... I mean, yeah, I was slight, I was better. f e was a mistake, I just had to resist attention, like knight f2, then knight e7, play knight h4, and I would be better, totally. So knight f2 would be a nice move. Yeah, when I played f3, I just immediately realized that that was not so nice. Now g6, queen f3 here. a3 is another inaccuracy eventually. I had to go for bishop. Okay, knight f2. That would be equal. So yeah, I was already the one who was playing for draw. Here, b4, c4. Okay, c4 was a mistake. And go for h5. Just ignore the fact that I even played b4. And after like knight b2, just play king p8 for safety reason and that it would be better for him. Knight b2 is an inaccuracy for me, I had to take dc, and then after he would take bc4, I would have rook f2 with the idea of knight b2, knight d3, and I would be better, slightly better. Um, so he played c3, I played knight c4, this is this, d3, takes, takes, okay, rook d1 was a huge blunder, I had to go for king h1. And after queen d4, play, I mean d2 is no point, then play queen d3, if it takes queen d3, you can take knight e7, bishop h3 here, rook a c1, no, rook f7, uh, no, rook, yeah, okay, doesn't matter, oops, see, move order doesn't matter, here, rook c1, rook d3, then play bishop f1, and after rook e3, in g2 I'm slightly better, I'm not slightly, I'm better, and if you would play rook a g g8, a good move for him, then b5, rook d1, rook 3, and that would be equal. Because yeah, after this I was just worse, queen d4 here, d2, queen e2 here, and okay, rook f3, yeah, that was just a total throw. Yeah, rook hf8, I wouldn't see a move, because after like rook d3, he has rook f2, great move, instead of queen f2, queen f2 is fine, but this and is only one. That was, I didn't really wanted him to play, uh, because if queen f2, variation, that's a blunder, I can just take, take here, and then that's equal. I did play knight g4, and then bishop h3 here, rook d3 here, okay, it's the best move, yeah, <laughs> that was a mistake, the best move was actually queen d3, and, uh, and yeah, king, king b8. And these two pawns are that strong, I, there is no way I can get them. Just place rook here, and the best move for me is this. And I would be better, but still, still I have to find rook d2, because otherwise I'm just not getting these pawns. Uh, this rook d2, rook here, rook here. And then I'm pretty sure I played the, the rest, I mean, decently. I'm not sure about b5, yeah, b5 immediately would be nice as well, but then b5 is the best move. And king San Lander. Uh, rook h8, right? Yeah, rook h8 with some compensation, and then then mate. I don't want to six zero zero three. So it was a crazy game. Yeah, I understood that when f takes c was the first mistake. I understood that during the game, and then what was the second one? Does anyone remember? That was uh, rook d one. I just wanted d queen d four d two. Totally. Wait, let's see. 
Where does anybody see games in chest 24? There you go. How many games are it? 133? 143, I'm sorry. Nice. Um, so yeah, the game wasn't so nice, uh, but the the outcome of it was decent. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's looking interesting. Let me see chain. The question of this puzzle is, if that I start Rook G1, wait, I think Rook G1 is best, and then Rook E1, no, was Rook E8, no, it was just promotion, no, oh, it was Rook G5, and King F6 you play here, then G1 check, and then you win the, no, ha, <laughs> and then you win the Queen, and then you win the Rook, alright, okay. Let's see, that should be endgame stuff. Queen e2 here, here. No, I have to you get... Wait, it's just queen h1. Huh? Okay, that was interesting. I was already considering some crazy, really, like, complicated, there you go, the words. Lines, and then... And then it's just one move. <laughs> yeah, that's how, somehow how chess is, you... You're like spending so much time trying to figure out some insanely tough lines to calculate and you understand it doesn't work and you're left with no time and that's bad for you. And there is just this one move and it works. <laughs> so what I'm considering right now is like queen g6 and then this take, take, bishop d4, no matter where it can move, for example, let's say h2, bishop e3. And I g4 or g8? No. Uh huh. Is it this? No. Ah, oh, wow. I have, I have all my pieces. <laughs> Still hard. Okay, wait, I just didn't even consider that move. Yeah, that was such an easy win. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, uh, I mean, I gotta take twice and now let's be careful king f5 king h not careful let's calculate king f5 king h6 king e6 king g5 king here that's a draw i'm pretty sure if i go king f4 here 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 here, here that's winning because i have a position and now king f5 king h7 this and that works king f4 here king e5 king f4 and now i go king Mm. Uh, uh, um. I mean, he got it. He wants it to take. Ag doesn't work, so king g5 gotta work. And yeah, I was a little worried if he would play king g7, but then. A lot of just have two pawns. Why, why should I be worried if this king g5? There, yeah. There you go. Uh, okay, that's interesting. Queen h4. Uh, or no. Because right now, if bishop six, this it's great, and this 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 queen f five is check. So here he takes with my knight, then this, and then I have bishop c five check, and then if rook is three, queen f two, that's no queen f four, that's yeah, I think bishop here, right? And then this, yeah, okay. <laughs> so five eighty three, it was a little easy, I think, for that, uh, at least for me. And um, maybe it was hard, very hard for you. <laughs> I'm not sure. So rook e5, rook d6, I'm sorry, what am I saying? Rook d6 looks like a great move, and I didn't say anything else, so I'll take. <laughs> yeah, that was a little hurry, but okay. Let's see here, if rook d8, bishop e5, that's winning. And this, this, uh, I have, uh, I have, I have, what do I have? Bishop f queen f5, right? Yeah. No, wait, queen f5, that's winning. And if rook f5, rook d7. Rook d7 here, here, rook f2, that's a draw. Because skin of two, that's uh, no wait, it's wait, it is. Hold on, what am I thinking now? No, it isn't. Because if not e pawn, rook f two, that's a draw. You just cannot escape this crazy desperate rook. And then king f two, it's a uh, no, it's not still it. What am I even saying? It would be a still it for me because my knight wouldn't move. Hold on, but just queen f five, right? Queen f five, there. Rook d no. Queen f five. No, I was saying rook d seven first, right? Oh, rook d seven, queen d seven. Oh. Queen f5 first. Uh, oh, yeah. I was actually saying... Okay, I'm confused right now. 
<laughs> what was I saying? Rudy said, yeah, how did he say that? And later five I just said fruit. Yeah, I was calculating this, rookie 7, rookie 7. I was calculating this, and when I had to make a buff, I did something so much different. Okay. <laughs> mm, I can happen. Uh, rook g7, king e8, queen g8, that's good. Rook g7, king e6, king e6, king e6, f5, king f5, queen h3 here, and that's really crazy. What if I just play it safe, and after f5, play queen f3? Hold on, I, I just need to calculate real quick if f5 is any good, if there is force made. Mm. Doesn't really does look so weird. f5 here, this, 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 king d3, they gotta be made somewhere, right? What is this? But they gotta be made. If I just can these three, he escapes. <laughs> that's, that's still somehow winning. Okay. <laughs> um, so basically, if I play knight f5, his idea is queen d5, as it seems. And then it's a, it's a, it's a double attack. Queen d5 to my rook and bishop. And uh, if I play queen h4, I think yes, this... But let's see, maybe I'm miscalculating. <clears throat> Yesterday I'm slow. <laughs> um, let's see. Let's see. Well, queen h4, knight g3. There is queen b4, queen b2. No? Hold on, I think now queen e4. Wait, queen e4. Wait, queen e4, bishop g2. Yeah. And if queen b4, there's bishop 3. <laughs> and what do I choose? Uh, bishop b4. No, it's also an option. No, it's wrong. Was it queen b4, bishop b4? Yeah, it was. I didn't really figure out the difference. <laughs> um, rook g4, king h8, the only move, because if king h7, I have queen g6, rook h4. There, queen e5. Wait, is it that easy? Here, 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 rook f yeah. Thirty-three, fifty-three. Uh, okay, that's that seems a little bit tougher. It's an end game. End games are real, tr really tricky sometimes. Uh, H eight, uh, queen c four, king e three, queen c one. I guess king d three, and like you were saying, I cannot run from checks, right? I'm not sure. Queen e three looks like a move. Then king e two. I'm running. Huh. That's the only move I can think of is queen d8, but then he has queen c4 as well, and king e3, and then queen c1, and then there. I mean, yeah, okay, h8. And ah, now d2, he doesn't even check. Just gotta figure out something here. Let's see, queen d8, he has queen c2, right? Yes. Um. What else is there? I mean, I cannot tell me. Queen h1, queen c2. Am I looking for perpetual? I don't know. Huh. Oh. Okay, I, I, I think I'm understanding what it is. If I go queen e d eight, this, 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 I play like queen c eight. Yeah. And now, oh oh, queen h one, and then I just run. But queen, I don't like it. Okay, whatever. And now, <laughs> and now I need to find another move. Is it like? Here, here, but then he has a bishop b7, can I d1 check, and then I take. Here in this, haha, <laughs> that was a nice one. So, 6 correct, 4 fail, as it seems. Nice, nice, nice. So, here, ah, uh, blindfold chess, yes. Wait, show player ratings. So, it's some sort of den mode, but it's not den mode. Alright, <laughs> I didn't see that. 
a Luchess TV, there you go, right? Yeah. Uh, play against computer level 7, standard, 10 minutes, random side, let's go. I'm with white. Uh, let's play it safe, then you have 3. See, d5, d4. Mm. I'm lagging. D5, D4. Oh, computer. Uh, internet, please. Oh, there you go. D4. Mm, C4. E6, G3. Cut along. D takes C here. Is it going for like 96 stuff? Probably. No, oh, C5. Hmm, okay. Um, how fun is that? Let's see, 6 is the only move, I'm pretty sure. And D queen. yeah, let's go. I'm really fun with that. Take, take, BC5 only move, I'm pretty sure. Then ID2, then C3 gives a pawn. Castle, ID3, Bishop, B7, C4, some equal position. Uh, more than fine <laughs> with that. And then B3, I mean, he has to castle. Yeah, this, I mean, Bishop B6 mistake because of Bishop A3. Bishop B7. Okay, please, Bishop B6, that's a mistake. I am pretty sure. I don't. I have no idea, to be honest, how to get use of it. How to. Yeah, but I remember Bishop A3 is the right move, I think. And now I think, like, Knight D4 preventing him from going Bishop D7. and I mean, Knight D4, Knight C, D, and then. Okay, takes. I take. He cannot play bishop, B, uh, bishop d7. Oh, he goes for this. Okay, that's interesting. Oh, right, yeah, I cannot play d, rook e5, rook d8 because of this sneaky little bishop. <laughs> but I think I can play this and then e3. Okay, then g4. Well, I guess it doesn't really change the fact that e3 is the right move here. Well, maybe not the right, but okay move here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's alright. H6. Okay, I'm thinking about going at C5. <clears throat> yeah, why not? I mean, I don't want to... I cannot defend my pawn, I'm pretty sure. So, C5 is... Looks like a good option. In at 5 I win a pawn. I still have a rook eight. Oh, rook E5 is an option as well. Oops, I didn't see that. <laughs> well, I saw that, but I didn't really consider it that you will go for it, actually. Hold on, isn't that scary? So I'm not sure. I mean, I can just play knight b7, knight f2, king f2, rook e3, bishop c5, bishop b7. Maybe the knight c5 was a little, maybe not a little, but a big mistake or inaccuracy, I'm not so sure. If I go bishop b7 now, he has bishop c5, I have b8, and it's fine. If rook c5 is fine. bb7, bb7, knight b7, knight f2, rook e3. <coughs> not sure. <sighs> You know, just what it feels like, I mean, 93 is the safest option available, so I'd go here, I mean, I don't feel like, I mean, okay, I'll maybe lose this extra pawn, but it was extra, so I'm not any material down. So rook 8 and now I think h3, like, if 95, I will happily trade. Lose this, does this actually work, rook e3, can h2, bishop of 5? Oh dear, that's scary, if it works. Uh -huh. It's actually scary if it works. <laughs> uh, I have bishop c5 as well. And rook d3, bishop b6, rook d1, rook d1, a b, rook d8, king h7, bishop e4, g6. Uh -huh. And he cannot move his... Oh, that's insane. 
bc5 root g3 b6 a b root g8 can h7 a single pawn bishop c5 so blunder something should be good and rook g3 bishop b6 then a rook g8 key move rook d8 but yeah how is he moving his bishop or his rook that's like the only question i have that's why i'm a little concerned <laughs> So even some evil plan, like get his skin over? I'm not sure. That's why I'm scared. And by heart it does it feels like it shouldn't work. But maybe it will. Because it's a stockfish. A stockfish. It's really, really sneaky. h4 and then bishop okay i gotta try h4 bishop h3 i think okay f5 and then i can play h5 but then he has g6 and then take take bishop h3 H5. Oh wow. That's a really crazy game to be honest. With you. I mean I guess I can play G4, GF, F6 stuff. Um and if G4 he goes G6. I can just take take GF can F5. And I mean can F5 I have bishop H3, bishop C8. If can F6 I have yeah okay. I think I will play G4. Okay, plays g5, but on Pouthant, real, <laughs> really rare move, but I think here is good. Okay, and goes king g5. <laughs> that's, that's actually a little pretty scary. <laughs> is he going for any adventure? Is he, or is it just like some sort of a move to make you open and scared? You know? <laughs> and this doesn't really make much. I'm thinking about f6. King f6, bishop h3, mm, rook a2, bishop c, no, not bishop, but rook c8. Hold on, does f6 work? If f6 works, then I'm pretty good. Not pretty, it's just a draw, I think. Rook a2, f7, and king f6, bishop h3, and bishop h3. No, I don't know about it. Definitely looks horrible. Oh, and I have not so much time left. It's another little problem. Well, not little, it can be a big problem at the end of the day. Bishop d5, b4, bishop, bishop e6. No, but bishop d5, that's a move because he can have 5. Now he has. But then I have bishop g2, and then he has king g4, and that's really weird stuff happening. <laughs> Okay, I need to, I need to decide. Well, I'm pretty sure I should draw there. Okay, unless I'm blundering, some should be good. We can have set of bishop h3. Yes, rook here. Whew. Yeah, he does. I was like scared because he goes for it really quickly and I was l not little I was really scared that he wouldn't have rook because that I would forgot that he doesn't have a rook anymore there or something like this okay bishop d7 well, I'm pretty sure I can just play like rook h8 yes he can have six right yeah <laughs> I gotta be I gotta make sure gotta make absolute sure Gives up h6 pawn. Interesting. Okay, rook e6. Well, I'm pretty sure I should hold this. 
and he gives up this pawn. What is he doing? Ah, <laughs> uh, that's actually a little bit terrifies me. <laughs> Maybe it's some evil plan. Uh, I mean, I will try to win this. Probably won't because I'm short on time and all this stuff. He plays weirdly. What is skin f7? He's definitely misplaying this. Pretty sure. So sure about b5 move because there is b6. Yeah, that was probably a mistake, but I threw it away. And, uh, <coughs> King d8. Yeah, okay, that was a mistake. But that's not the right corner, though. It's the wrong corner for him. King d6. C2, rook 2 I'm not sure how to win this. <laughs> but that's the wrong corner. I'm not blind. Skivage. Rook c8. Oh, maybe that wasn't good. That maybe wasn't good at all. Uh, because now he can run <coughs> to the wrong, the right corner. Ah, I'm really, <laughs> real. <laughs> Hold on, he has bishop there and king here, so I'll do this. King c5. She doesn't see how to win. It's her own corner, I know, but how? <gasps> okay, king a6. Maybe you should like hunt bishop or something. But to where? For what reason do I hunt this poor bishop? Just wants to have peace. <laughs> yeah, I just remember it should have six. King a seven. It's the wrong co corner. Yes, it is. Oh, I thought Rook of 2 just wins it. It doesn't. Gotta be a win. It goes B7. It's a problem. Okay, back rank. Does it get me anywhere? Yeah, I think it may be. Bringing me here. Now his bishop isn't safe. Okay, that was really clumsy. <laughs> I just got so lucky that he got his skin to the back rank. And now I, I say, yeah, I think a minute should be enough to mate. Yeah, that was a very interesting defensive ideas from him. He played weirdly. One. <coughs> can have five. I can just make a way to move. I don't want it to go up. Okay, and I win this somehow. Uh, okay, that was a really crazy game to be honest with this 93 rookie 3 then come in there. That was really insane, but I managed to win it somehow. I, I definitely uh, I definitely can mate uh, win the rook versus bishop in the wrong corner. I definitely can. No, it was a draw. Yeah, did I throw it out the window? Or is it actually a drawing technique? I mean, bishop g4. Yeah, I mean, after bishop g4, when he. He just had to keep his bishop here or get his king to the corner. I'm just like, it's okay. Yeah, I was winning here. Okay, but after that, he was draw. I thought, like, how can I win it? Because it's the wrong corner. If his bishop would defend, then it would be bad. Uh, okay, just. Yeah, b5 was a terrible, terrible move. I just did play like rook g5. And then it says it's plus one just but, but then yeah bishop c6 here and just because of bishop of three he's holding. So I'm not so sure. So that was a four nil one for me, one nil two game for him. That was the theory I mean bishop b6 is a mistake. I'm sure I was fine, but bishop b6 is a big mistake.
Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, I mean, Bishop B6, alright, well, Masters. I think my, very little Masters, yeah, played Bishop B6. Here, here. I mean, he just played move switch, well, logical. Okay, I had to go for Knight C5 and provoke him. I, I didn't even consider it. After Rook E5 back, what was the right move? Oh, just Rook E5, yeah, why didn't I even think of that? Yeah, just had to go rook c1. Right. Then bishop b6 and actually had to go for rook d3 and play this. But I decided to do this and then I was a little bit like shocked. Uh, because it was a little bit unpleasant. Okay, I had to go for gf and then f6 and then bh3. Okay. Yeah, I was a little worried. If he has more pawns, it will be harder for me to defend. But there's defendable for sure. Like rook b8. That's, that's adorable. Yeah. Uh, but okay, here, here, I don't know how he was better, I mean, king f6, that was forced draw, maybe, yeah, king f6 would be a little better, then b4 was a blunder from him, he had to go for king f5, yeah, b4 was such a weird move, like, why don't you go here, there, and two points, it's definitely holdable, and this, I was winning, here, b5 was a blunder, I had to go for rook g5, it says I win, but then after bishop f3, okay, rook g1, yeah, I just had to, yeah, yeah, that was only winning, I just played this, quick and weird b5 there and now b5 and it's totally win because i mean rook 7 not a bad move like i did in the game but after king e4 like king here rook d3 oh yeah he has to move his bishop right <coughs> and go king d4 king d6 then rook h3 here here i push his king away and then yeah, i mean king c5 bishop f3 then i go rook f6 here so I go with my king over here, then play rook d6, king e7, rook g6, bishop f3, rook g7, get him to the to the last rank, and then basically like king e8 if he would play, then I have king c7, bishop e4, rook g7, king f8, like rook d7, right? Okay, this, and then basically rook, rook b8 and this stuff. So yeah, rook g5 was winning, but I played b5, and then we got this, and then I understood, oh, he's in one corner, but it was like hard to win it, and this is like why am I uh, aren't I winning? Because even if he's in one corner, but he has bishop distance, it's fine. Bishop g4 was upon you to go for king b8. And yeah, I wouldn't win that at all. And after bishop g4, I have this rook c7. Important check if king d8, rook g7. And as he played here, he went here, and now his king is edged, and now that's this strong corner. And then, yeah, this and basically anywhere where bishop would move, like here, or your rook e7. Here we go, bishop here, this, and rook d7, bishop d5, so you get the point. And then this, and uh, rook f8, and I won somehow. <laughs> so it was a really, really clumsy game, yeah, b5 was a real big mistake, because just learned b6, but rook g5, b5, that was a nice move after b6, I would be winning. But I still managed to win the game overall, and I'm pretty sure that was a pretty great stream. Hope you enjoyed it, if you did, and please remember to share special and comment teams there are uh, 1078 members thank you very much 22 members and my tournament 1100 members so feel free to join we'll be very happy and also please join my club on chesscom tihan fun club now my club there are 163 members thank you very very much 37 members of my tournament um, 200 members so feel free to join we'll be very happy and thank you for following chess on youtube and on twitch and as usual, click the like button and subscribe and please consider your position on chess.com and also please my Discord link in the description. And yeah, bye bye, bye bye guys, see you soon, see you tomorrow, see you tomorrow, see you